Hi friends, and welcome to my channel. Um, please don't, um, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and a big thumbs up. Okay, um, so we are gonna finish up our first book club book, Not Your Mother's Rules, A New Secret for Dating. This is Bonji's Broken Heart, Bro Bonji's Book Club for Broken Hearts. I always make make things up that I can never say. Anyway, Bonji's Book Clubs for Broken Hearts. So, um, all right. So I saw, I mean, there's um so many good things in there, but the one I wanted to talk about, um, don't give up your friends. It's in here. Don't, 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 don't. Don't. Don't give up your friends over some kind of man you're obsessed with. With Okay? Um, don't give up your friends for anything if they're really your friends. Um, I lost a lot of friends by telling them the truth um, about somebody or about a person in their life or whatever. And they chose, you know, that guy and believe them, the, the person or whatever, the guy, and um, you know, we start being friends and then they break up and they be like, oh, you told me and I just say, nah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, we still, we're still friends because I don't let people go that easily, but it's not the same. It's not the same because, you know, if I consider somebody my friend, then it, it's, it, it, it hurts me when they, when they don't, don't, um, believe that I'm looking out for them. So it's just never the same. So don't give up your friends for a guy who's who you're obsessed with or who's obsessed with you. When I was married, I I, ha I gave up all of my friends, my other marriage, the one, one of them in, that I was in. I don't want to like mention them all, but <laughs> um, I really didn't have any friends. All of my friends was his friends. And then when I got divorced, I was alone, completely alone. Me and my kids, I had my kids, of course, but yeah, I, I had no friends. I, I barely talked to my family. It was, it's horrible. You got to have your own. So like now I keep my own friends. I keep my own job. I keep, you know, my circle of, of just people I know um, because it's very important to me to, to do that, to keep that, to, to, to know that you know I got my own of everything so that's you know just do that don't 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 give up your friends and um if you have a really good friend that's been your friend forever and um she said yo he he tried to hit on me or something believe her because and, and you know he'll be like oh no she did you know she just seeing it because she liked me and then you go believe him over your friend this guy you probably knew for like a month or two or three months you know it happens a lot and, and it's not, it's, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous if you ask me. So just, just don't do that. Value the friends that you have. If they're really, really good friends and you know it, don't let anybody or anything come in between a good friendship. It's very important that you do not do that. Um, um, as for, I'm just skimming through cause we're done and we're going to start on something else. So, um, also in here, it says like if you're online dating, don't inbox or text or message or do anything first, okay? You don't want to do that. You, it's still the same as if you're out, if you're going out and um, or you're out and you see a hot guy or something like that. You wait for him to approach you. So the same thing is on, um, you know, when you're online dating, you wait for him to get in touch with you. You and you wait <laughs> to get back in touch with him. Don't forget about waiting, making, letting him know that you have other things that you're doing, that you have a life. Men like that. People like that. They like, they like it that you have a life. They like it that you're doing something. Um, so just remember that. Don't reach out. Don't do all of that. And um, another thing that's in in this book, not your mother's rules, the new secrets for dating is, um, oh my God, I think I forgot. <laughs> oh no, and I did. I just totally forgot. Uh, wow. Sometimes I'm sleeping. Um, it says, oh my. Oh, I know. I told you the rule. Don't. 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 Don't just go off and sleep with somebody. Have your dates. I, I would have like five dates, six dates before I sleep with somebody. I mean, sometimes even you go, I mean, just, and that could be over, you know, because sometimes they don't, they, you're not going to have five dates in a week. So you're going to know the guy for at least, 
you know, two months, two months or something like a month and a half, two months or something like that. And, you know, and don't, uh, don't, 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 don't think you're exclusive until they say they ask you to be exclusive. They ask, they, you know, I, that was my other mistake with the guy that broke my heart. I just thought, cause I slept with him that we was together. And don't forget, I did that on our first date, which was no, no, you're a creature unlike any other. We do not do that. Okay. So, um, yeah, but I thought, oh yeah, we're together. I, I really did. I, I spent three days there. I thought, oh, that's my boyfriend now. And then like after a couple of months and, you know, we're still seeing each other. I thought, it, I just thought we were together. And, um, you know, when we, when, when, um, we was having one of those breakup arguments and he was like, I was like, you know, we, I thought I was your girlfriend. He's like, I never asked you to be my girlfriend. And I was like, he didn't. He never, he never said we was exclusive. He never asked me to be his girlfriend or, um, or anything. And I was just like, wow, you know, that was a big lesson that I learned a big one. And so make sure you know that you're in, in that you're in a relationship when you're in a relationship. Um, Everybody go to Facebook and all, I mean, you know, all that stuff and be like, look for the person that's in a relationship or whatever. I personally, um, do not go for that. Do not do that. Don't stalk anybody's Facebooks or anything. Don't, don't even if somebody broke up with you, delete their account, their phone number, their, their all of that stuff, all that social media is because you don't have to be stalking them and looking at them and seeing what kind of pictures they have up and seeing who's they who they're dating or anything like that just let it go and if you're a person that actually gives second chances or something if you let it go go here go ahead on about your life learn your lesson respect yourself and love yourself and he comes back then you know he's coming to you because he came back but you got to make sure that he treats you the way that you are supposed to be treated. It's very important because some people go right back to their old ways. But you are a creature unlike any other. And you don't take no crap. Okay? Nah. So, once, like I said before, it happens once, sh sh shame on them. If it happens twice, shame on you. So, make sure that you get your confidence. You look in that mirror. You say you love yourself. Make sure that you know your value. Like learn from what happened. I've learned from when the the person that the guy that broke my heart, I learned what not to accept in a relationship. Yeah, I mean that's what he taught me. That's what he taught me. Um that relationship hurt, it sucked, it was it was um a roller coaster, it was crazy out of control, intense, but it was a lesson that I would never forget because I became so much better because of it. So don't think that you're nothing. Don't think that you're never going to be okay because you will come out of this and you want to come out of it strong, strong and self-aware and beautiful and just, you know, excited to just get out there and do your thing because you, you somebody knock you down and they, you can, you're a strong woman. You can bring yourself back up. Listen to some good music. Listen to some apparel, read music, read books about confidence. Look in that mirror, let you know that you love yourself. Um, delete all of that stuff. His pictures. I deleted every picture, every out of my house, all the stuff that reminded me of him, his, all of his, his social medias, everything. Um, and I cried for years. <laughs> but whatever. And I prayed a lot. Like God gave me so much strength. And my books I read, you know, The Confident Woman is Next. I, I read this one, The Confident Woman is Next, How to Get a Man to Love You. It was just so much body language books. I was, I was just like, but I kept myself busy. That was the most important thing. I kept myself busy. You got to keep yourself busy. You can't just lay around and, and, and wait. So... And don't, don't, um, another thing here, when you're, when you're out, um, you know, on your date with the guy and everything, don't get wasted. Don't let him be in control 
don't let him or don't let anybody just don't get wasted um make sure you know what's going on around you make sure you know what's happening i mean when you get deeper in a relationship i mean i i get you know totally sloshed with my husband <laughs> uh but not in the beginning <laughs> um um just you know, let let people see. I mean, you be you, do you, and everything, but just do it in a ladylike fashion. Um, it, it it's just it's good. Like I said, um, that one in one of my one of my um earlier videos, how my loving him taught me how to love myself. I was out with somebody, dated somebody, and he wanted me to drive because he was too drunk, and and I was like. No, I mean, at least I had that much sense. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, because why would somebody that say that they care about you want you to get in trouble and not themselves? Or just say, can't we just call, you know, a taxi or an Uber or something like that? No, he demanded that I drive. And I was like, no, because that's when I, I love my, I knew, I know what not to take before I probably would have did it. So know your value know your worth know what no learn learn from learn from these experiences even though they're they're hurtful and they're sad and they're bad always something good come out of it and what is going to come out of this situation is you're going to be powerful you're going to be strong you're going to roar baby you're going to roar like that okay so make sure you keep that in mind okay you know, make sure you just, just make sure you keep your hobbies, do your thing, all of that stuff and everything. So, it, it, it says wait for a guy to follow you on Twitter and tweets, but I really just don't do that. Um, social media stuff, too many, like I told you my story about the girls that got in touch with me that told me about the guy that broke my heart because he was dating like four different girls. And I don't know how he had the time for that, but um, that little cool dip was dipping everywhere, I'll tell you that much. But, um... Um, see, I can laugh about that now. It's like, but before I would, <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, just, you know, whatever. It saved me from diseases and stuff like that. So, so when you're dealing with rejection, it, it's never easy. It says, but some, so some relationships just don't work out. Get out there and start dating, like not serious or anything, but to get out there, go to lunch, go on dates, you know, do your thing and everything. Don't talk about this. Don't talk about him or anything. Just go have some fun. Don't sit home. Don't cry. Don't, I mean, you can cry in your own, but you know, and clean everything that reminds you of him out. Get it, get it out, get it away, get it out, get it out, make it going. Um, listen to empowering music. Uh, make sure you do that because you don't want it to be down and out um don't write angry letters don't text uh or anything you can write angry letters and write them down or in a text but delete it or throw the paper away get, you can get it out my therapist said that's okay to do stuff like that but you just have to i mean you can get it out but don't mail it don't push it, send you know don't send the email or anything just write it out and then delete it let it go and um you'll feel better it, you'll you will and um um it says remember the bad times and not the good times um my problem with the one that broke my heart is i remember because he was like you're the keeper of my, our memory so i remembered everything and um i i, I don't i don't particularly like like memories like that I, I, memories are something that can destroy you in situations like that so i just when i went back into dating you know i just dated and then forgot about it and then if we did i went day day by day day by day um because those memories hurt <laughs> like they hurt yeah that was bad I, so i'm not all about that um but you do you you do your thing or anything but i try to let let that go like when i started dating my um when i just started dating when i went back out and started dating i just did day by day and you know just just let it go i didn't dwell on you know what we did that day and, and keep it in the back in my memory banks or anything like that because oh man memories they hurt so make sure you try to let them go, okay? Make sure you just try to, if you start getting a, a memory or something, go to the gym, take a walk, go run and clean something, do anything, but don't sit down there and dwell on, dwell on them. 
because they're, they're not going to do anything just but, but bring you down. So, um, yeah. And don't, um, it says in here, like, don't go on um, updates about your ex or your heartbreak or your girlfriends. Or, just don't, don't, don't even talk about it. Just... Just um, don't pay attention to him. Don't don't go on, like I said. Don't go on their media. Don't do anything. Don't have your friends say, "Oh, well, he's doing this." But like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear what he's doing. Okay, I'm just trying to do me right now. So just let people know that you know, right now you're not together, so you don't really, really care about you know what he's doing. So that's it. That's um. <laughs> Not Your Mother's Rules, The New Secrets for Dating. Make sure you get that by Ellen Fian and Sherry Schneider. <laughs> uh, yeah, just like that. Um, don't forget, go get this. <laughs> um, and we'll start on the next book, The Confident Women, Woman by... Um, the Confident Woman, I can't... I ooh, Just whatever. So, The Confident Woman, we'll start on that. Um... Joyce Myers by Joyce Myers. It just like popped in my head like that. And you're gonna like that. That's a good book. Um it, it really helps you out. She has she's amazing. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and a big thumbs up, and you are blessed. Don't forget to look in that mirror and tell yourself that you love you. Bye, friends.